They blend into society but share a perverted secret, their relentless pursuit of children online for sex. Tonight, we're taking you beyond the mug shots and into the sick mind of a child predator in his own words. Call 7 investigator Teresa Marchetta getting exclusive and unprecedented access to this investigation. Teresa. You know, most of your kids have cell phones, right? Little computers that literally put predators right in the palm of their hand. You don't think of it that way, but guess what? It's not a matter of if anymore. It's a matter of when a predator will try to connect. If you still think your child isn't at risk, what you're about to see just may change your mind. Get out of the car right now. Get that phone down the seat. Do it now. Get down. It's not the welcome to Colorado James Pierce was expecting. All the way Get down. The office. All the way down. A team of Jefferson County investigators, guns drawn for the takedown. This exclusive video, the payoff in a months long investigation. James Lee Pierce, a convicted rapist and child molester from Georgia, had his sights set on a child in Colorado. You ask her, are you still a virgin? Man, yeah, a lot of mates. This sick child predator, so brazen, he takes a bus across the country to meet up with his child bride wearing an ankle monitor. What are you on uh, uh, monitor for? Well, it was, uh, I got falsely accused back in 1992 on a child molestation charge. What Pierce doesn't know is the man questioning him. Yeah, okay. I won't answer. Is the same man driving the cab that picked him up at the bus station. Yeah, we're going back tomorrow. <laughs> oh, you are? Yeah. Huh? Well, have a nice day for a day. Yeah. Well, I am in the bedroom with her. Detective Mike Harris, head of the Internet Crimes Against Children Unit, working undercover. Did you guys talk about sex? We did, but uh, not much. The 51-year-old trying to deny the sexually graphic texts and pictures he'd sent. You were gonna, you were going to <laughs> her. Is she let me? Yeah. 18 year old. I would. Yeah. No, she wasn't 18. You know she wasn't 18. Harris and his team had been tracking Pierce, who goes by the screen name Scrap Bucket, since December of 2013. We'll painfully go through oh, the, the dirty details in hundreds of pages of filth laden text and instant message transcripts. Hey, you're a sexy little girl. Oh, well, thank you. And voice recordings of Pierce talking dirty to the detective he thought was a young girl. Nice. I just can't get over that guy. He got a 14-year-old girlfriend. I know, a 14-year-old girlfriend. That's pretty sweet. You devoted a lot of resources to this. We did. Uh, my view, though, there's nothing more important than protecting our kids. Jeffco DA Pete Weir knows he has the best in the business working at his office, but he also wants parents to know just how many predators are out there and how many, like Pierce, get out of prison and go right back to their twisted criminal behavior. These predators are awfully good at what they do, going deeper and deeper and deeper until a child is hooked. I see a lot of stuff on, on the internet. You talk to a lot of kids, too. A lot of kids. Don't you? Yeah. Pierce, like thousands of other sexual deviants online, still refuses to acknowledge what he's doing is wrong. I'm not a predator. James Pierce is serving six years to life in prison, convicted on all the counts against him. The state of Georgia admits they let Pierce go out of state to meet up with a friend, even though he's a frequent parole violator and had even failed to register as a sex offender. In fact, the state of Georgia even asking Jefferson County to send back his ankle monitor. I'm Call 7 Investigator Teresa Marchetta.